all right guys so the julio trade is done it is over it is a confirmed done deal bro julio jones is no longer an atlanta falcon that doesn't even feel real to say but uh yeah man i'm about to talk about the all the pros and cons of this trade and what this means for both atlanta falcons and the tennessee titans so yeah, first thing first, Julio was traded to the Tennessee Titans for a second and a fourth round pick, and the, well, the Falcons gave up Julio and a sixth round pick. And um, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of Falcon fans are unhappy about the compensation, simply because they just, you know, obviously Julio was a first round pick type of talent, but uh, you know, I mean, you got to look at the factors. I mean, he's, he's 32 years old. Um, his contract is terrible. It's a horrible contract. Like, there's no way somebody's gonna give up a first round pick for that type of contract. And um, and yeah, he last season he missed like half the season. Um, he missed like seven games or so. So yeah, like, you know, I mean, I I mean it's understandable why we wouldn't give up a first round pick for a player like Julio Jones, even though you know he's obviously a first round talent. Like. <clears throat> like I said before, but um, yeah. For, but for the the team itself, for the Falcons, um, you know, obviously it takes a hit to our elite receiving core. It was him. It was supposed to be him, Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts, Hayden Hurst. But um, you know, obviously that's not gonna happen now that he's gone. But to be honest, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future and what it brings for this team. Um. You know, it's going to be different not seeing Matt Ryan with Julio Jones and vice versa. Um, we're going to have to see Matt Ryan play without his top target. Uh, but we, we know Matt Ryan, right? He, he's he's always found a way to utilize who he has around him on offense, at least. You know, the, the defense has been selling him his whole career. But, um, yeah, he has Kyle Pitts now. Um, he's supposed to be one of the greatest tight end prospects of all time, as we've heard many, many times before. Uh, quote unquote versatile weapon, and you know I'm 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 excited I'm excited for him. He's like 20, he's 20 years old. He's super young, so you know he, he's he's gonna be here a long time. And obviously we have the one and only Calvin Orrin Ridley. Calvin Ridley proved last year that he was he was um he proved last year that uh that he's a number one receiver. Um. You know, he put up 1,300 yards, nine touchdowns without Julio Jones. Yeah, there was always a narrative that you know, the only reason Calvin Ridley is this good is because he has Julio Jones around him and a veteran quarterback who knows how to get the ball everywhere. But that's, that's just casual talk right there. But um, you know, anybody who watched football and, and watched clips knows Calvin Ridley is a dog. And he's, he's going to continue to prove that. Um, next year, well, we, we just signed the Calvin Ridley to a fifth year option, and obviously he's due to a deal very soon, and hopefully it's not a terrible contract like we gave Julio, but it all depends on how he performs this year and next year. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, obviously Matt Ryan isn't getting any younger, so we're gonna have to find a succession plan for the next quarterback in Atlanta. Um. Yeah, I think Matt Ryan still got something left in the tank. Um, I don't think we can win the Super Bowl with him anymore, based off of how you know how the team is looking now and how far we can get with him and the team we have set up. But uh, we'll, we'll just see, man. We'll just see. You know, I swallowed my tongue before and I said something that was completely wrong. But you know, that's just what I think. Like, I just think the window for Matt Ryan is done, and I don't think another one will be created. But, but yeah, and then. As for the Tennessee Titans, you know, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. I mean, obviously it's a huge upgrade; it makes their offense better. But as a team, I mean, I don't, I don't really think it makes them a whole lot better, considering, you know, they their defense is poor over there. Like they have a really bad defense. Like it's not as bad as the Falcon defense, obviously, but it's it's not that good. Um, they have no linebackers. They really have no DBs. I mean, they have Caleb Farley, but we'll, we'll just see how he pan out in the NFL. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't really see it as making them a Super Bowl contender like that. It was kind of like a, 
let me see i don't want to put this they didn't need julio but it's just something they they did just to do i guess and make make them more versatile on offense i guess i mean they, you, you can never i mean you can never not have too many like receivers and stuff i mean i mean obviously all they had since Corey davis left was was um aj aj brown but yeah the the pair of Terry Henry, Julio, AJ Brown, and Ryan Tannehill is gonna be deadly. Um, Julio Jones said he wanted a strong arm quarterback, but uh, I mean, Tannehill's a like don't get me wrong, he's a good deep ball passer and he's accurate at it. But like, what Julio meant by deep arm quarterback, like a court, like a quarterback who can just put it past the entire defense and just let let Julio go get it. And unfortunately, it's sad to say, but uh, that wasn't the type of quarterback Matt Ryan was. He he like I like like just like uh, Ryan Tannehill, Matt Ryan is an accurate deep ball passer, but uh he was never a bomber or get it past the the entire defense type of arm. It's just been good enough and accurate. But I mean I and I understand, like I know it's not a shot to Matt Ryan, but um but like it for Julio's like if, if Julio was in his prime and he had like a, a cannon arm for a quarterback, bro, and he was getting Past defenses like he was, right? He would have one thousand percent had a two thousand yard season, bro. It's probably just a bias in me, but I just think he would have, you know, he, he would have had a two thousand yard receiving uh, yard uh, season at this point. But it is what it is. Um, he's he's best wide receiver of the decade, in my opinion. And you know, is it? Is. I'm gonna miss some off my team. Yeah, man, it's gonna be tough to adjust to not seeing number eleven. And we better retire that number. I don't want to see anybody ever wearing that number again. But um, yeah, like I said, it is what it is. Um, I'm not a player fan. I'm a team fan. So you know, I'm, uh, I'm always, I'm always stand by the team. I would never jump ship because my favorite team traded my favorite player and stuff like that. But. I'm a root for Julio, obviously. I'm a, I'm a hope he does well in Tennessee. Um, I don't think that they will win a, a championship over there, especially with the Chiefs and, and them over there. Like, them, them some dogs over there. Them some good teams. And, um, and I just somehow hope that the Falcons can make the playoffs or do something crazy without Julio Jones just so people can stop underrating Matt Ryan for his career because you know, you know how people are. Oh well, uh, Matt Ryan had all these guys throughout his career and uh, this and that and uh, bro, Cal, uh, Matt Ryan deserves as much credit as the guys he's played with. Like, how, how they gonna get the ball? You think a, a scrub quarterback is gonna be this consistent and play this long if they were if they was bad? No, I don't think so. But um, yeah, man, I'm gonna miss Julio Jones. It's, this this is a farewell. This is a goodbye. Whatever you wanna call it. He had a great run. He's a top ten wide receiver of all time as of right now, in my opinion. And he's only he's only gonna get better over there in Tennessee with other weapons around him, which he already had here. But hey, man, it is what it is, man. Um, and on top of that, I I really don't know what what they're gonna look like offensively, also because Arthur Smith, their offensive coordinator, is with us now. So we're gonna see. It's a, it's an ironic situation, really. Like for all of that, Arthur Smith could have really stayed in Tennessee and <laughs> and called for Julio Jones over there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna see, man. I think Arthur Smith's gonna be a great coach for the Falcons, and and he's gonna do well over here. And hopefully, Julio Jones does well in Tennessee. And yeah, man, it's gonna be it for this video. I just had to get my thoughts out about this Julio Jones trade. I do not think the Titans Rob does because they traded they when they got julio bro they took up his entire contract bro so we're really not paying any of that we probably got a couple money in dead cap but that's about it man they took up his entire contract which is which is beautiful so yeah man if you made this part of the video i appreciate it so much go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to my channel bro i need i need i need these subscriber counts to go up man i need these likes to go up i'm trying to I'm trying to make something like this youtube thing man so yeah man i'll catch y'all boys later man like and subscribe or else